Winnebago Spider 24 FQ just landed here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. <laughs> and man, this thing is bad. This thing is awesome. Um, first of all, we've got this uh, outfitted with some optional equipment. So the way it looks here in this video might be different from the one we have in stock. For instance, uh, this has the full Black Widow skin package. Normally this would have a white exterior. We dress this thing up just tip to tail, looking like a, I don't know, looking like a stealth bomber. This thing looks sweet. And then we put the uh, three quarter nose cap on the front here. And that is just one bad looking cat right there. Like the, these red LED accents. Oh my God, those look good. Those look so good. Um, this has a huge front diamond plate as well. That's like twice as tall as I normally see and I see a lot of RVs. So uh, that, that's a pretty cool thing. That'll help keep this thing from getting dinged up. Um, the, uh, oh, uh, baggage compartment up here. This is very, very large. And a couple things I want to point out. You see that, uh, where you see wood, it's real wood. It's not uh, particle board. Um, and all of our aluminum structure here runs through the entire trailer to keep this thing reasonably light, though this is not made to be a lightweight, uh, not at all actually. It's made to be extremely heavy duty and it does accomplish that well. You saw the battery disconnect, that was that red switch there on the left side of the frame. Uh, this black switch right here is just a handy uh, switch for your nose accent lights and there's an individual light up here. And even in your baggage compartment we have LED lights. Uh, what I like about this is that it's really wide, so you can actually throw some big stuff in there. It is solar prepped. Um, you've got the nicer slam latch baggage doors on there. And I mentioned this is not made to be an ultralight. Um, there's kind of a movement to uh, ultralight toy haulers all of a sudden here. And I think that's cool. It's a market that needed to be there. This is not one of those. This is a very heavy duty built RV. It does live up to the Winnebago name. We don't have spider problems. They don't come back with issues. I mean, I can't guarantee anything's gonna be perfect, but this is as close as I can get. They are living up to the Winnebago name and doing it proud. Uh, you see the uh, Onan 4000 yeah, 4, generator over here. Um, that is gas, by the way. A lot of people ask that. That is park friendly. Uh, but what's nice, I mean, with this being a toy hauler, you can take this thing anywhere. Now, you're obviously seeing the true gel coat exterior on here, the way that you've got that mirror finish. You can easily see so much detail on uh, the sidewall of this trailer. You can see the windows of the trailer next to it in that skin. Very impressive stuff. Uh, this does have an enclosed underbelly uh, under the living area. Um, we actually have this one outfitted with power stabilizers. Oops, they're over here. Um, this just makes everything push button easy for you. And yes, there is a manual override. That's what this little widget is on the end here. Um, suspension, this has an equal flex suspension, which, which is a rubber shock dampener. And that you can actually see that because that's that yellow uh, block in between there. There's some big chunks of rubber to basically soak up shocks and jolts going down the road so they don't get translated up into your walls, into your windows. They don't uh, rattle your, your toys around inside and they don't jostle you around in the truck. Now to complete the package, we've got the gorgeous looking frameless windows here. So this thing again just looks so sleek and smooth. Unfortunately, we've had so many trailers come in rapid fire. I didn't have a chance. We, I mean, we're parked right back to back against something else here. So I did not have a, the opportunity to drop that tailgate. And I try to get these things on as soon as possible. So that's just one of those things I had to, to sacrifice here. This does have the patio party deck so the rear deck does fold down and it creates that that big patio space in the back there but you know what honestly I'm kind of glad because I always forget this has an amazing graphics package even on the exterior here how good does that look um, twin flood loading lights and a permanently attached side ladder so you don't have to bring a loose ladder with you you don't have to stow extra cargo everything is simple and easy and where it belongs super spring assisted here by the way so this is very very easy and you can see how tall the back of this is that's a, going to be a very long ramp with a very easy angle of incline usually these ramps on toy haulers have a 3,000 pound load limit and 1500 pound deck uh, setup limit um, power awning here is, I don't know, 18 foot-ish, something like that. It does have a full-length LED light strip at the bottom. You can kind of see the, the little bit of that reflection of the lights up there when I zoom in. That's actually reflecting off the sidewall. Uh, fuel station, I have to double check the capacity. I want to say that's about 30 gallons. Don't quote me on that. Unfortunately, every product has its own little ins and outs and whatnot, and I, uh, I can't remember the capacities of every single tank and every single thing. I try. I get some, I can't get them all. 
Um, the extreme weather pack that we have on here, that's this white sticker. That's part of that enclosed insulated heated belly. So this is going to be a, a very good extended season RV in full 30 inch uh, entry door instead of a 26. In English, that means you can just walk in broadside here and not have to kind of slip in sideways or crooked or anything like that. Close the door behind me. There we go. It's a trick I learned way back when so that, uh, you know, people wouldn't come in and interrupt our video. So right when you walk in, you've got a control panel and boom, all the lights kick on right there. Um, so it does light up very well in here. They have good quality lighting and they have lots of it if you look up here. Uh, we will typically outfit our Winnebago's with a 15,000 BTU air instead of a 13.5, which is uh, arguably 50% more powerful. It, it recycles the air in here 50% more often, so it helps keep it cooler in here. Now, it is a double arched interior roof. We've got um, the uh, aluminum trusses uh, running uh, latitudinally here, uh, meaning side to side, pardon me and uh, with a, uh, a plywood roof decking. So this is made to be something that is built for long-term ownership. Now, you see all these speakers up here. It's a Sony Explode system, which is not uncommon in toy haulers. It seems to be the gold standard. This is a thousand watt though. Uh, usually I see 500s. I had the sound cranked up on this thing and I think I woke up the neighbors. This thing sounds good. It can get loud. It sounds good when it's quiet too, which is nice. This is just a little bit shorter version of the very common 28 foot toy hauler we've been very successful with here at Halet RV. And all the key things are still present. You know, like nothing's flat. Everything has this little shape and contour. The craftsmanship, the fit and finish. I mean, you look at where everything matches up and there's, there's no gappiness. There's none of that uh, wiggle space or wiggle room in there. So this does have the Happy Jack power bed lift. That black thing up there is the uh, little portable table that can go down here. It's lightweight. It can go inside or outside. You can see the feet of the ladder hanging off. They hook up right there. So it is easy to get to that upper bunk. Um, we've got the, this can either be a, a bunk below. When they come down, the bed will stop about halfway. And then the sofas or lower bed will continue down to, you know, normal seating level or, or sleeping level. Um, but obviously, you know, they can go up out of the way. And, you know, I always do my videos with these things down. I thought one time, hey, let's do it with them up. S something different. We've got a uh, removable indoor-outdoor little uh, carpet here. So once your bikes or toys or whatever are unloaded, you can actually use this like a nice living space. So that's what's cool. This is something you don't even have to use for a toy hauler. This is just a nice RV. Um, comes in about 7,500 pounds dry. I haven't checked the hard dry weight. I was just glancing at the GVW tag. So um, the coach itself, half ton towable, by the time you load it, I don't know. You know, the, you could you could load this thing up uh, to a GVW of about 10.5 or something like that, maybe more. And that is really starting to push half tons to the point that I'm not comfortable saying half ton towable. I love this little, it almost looks like a, a live well in a, in a fishing boat, but just a little tackle box down here basically for all your, it's a toolbox, all your extra tools and things. It's really cool to have here. And again, you can see the uh, the gates of the patio party deck right here. We just obviously can't fold that down. Um, your D-rings, let me here zoom in on one of these real quick. These are 6,000 pound capacity. You can see they're lag bolted straight through the floor. They pull tested these and somehow they got the ring to fail and the floor never gave. It's very impressive. And I do like the flooring they use in here. It's very sharp looking. Uh, the little extra chair right here, I have to check, and I am sorry, I can't remember every detail of every RV, but I believe the little uh, recliner that we add here is an option, but it is a nice one because, again, this is an RV that the design gives you a nice little living room once you're unloaded, and that's something I really enjoy about it. What I do like, though, is that it does have a, a nice private front bedroom so that once you, uh, you know, you don't have to have the bike unloaded to sleep anywhere, you know, you can you can still sleep up front. Like if you roll in late, you don't want to unload everything, you don't want to make a lot of racket. Hop in your bedroom, take a nap, in the morning wake up and unload and set up your campsite. So we've got the nice Jensen um, HD TV here and it's on this nice double jointed swing arm so you can make this thing face anywhere you want and it does lock down for transit. Um, all of your windows will open for cross breeze so that's obviously a very nice benefit. Um, spinning around here. Um, you know, something this size cannot have a big monster dream kitchen, but it's it's sufficient. You know what I just noticed? It's got a traditional microwave and oven setup. That's very rare in toy haulers. I think that's really cool. It's just something to kind of set it apart. And I love this little backsplash backlight back here. The print design on it 
just very, very artistic and cool. Um, <laughs> kinda reminds me of um, like a design I'd see on my Trapper Keeper in third grade. Maybe that's why I appreciate it. It takes me back to my childhood a little bit, and that's possible. I like, too, that there are countertops through uh, the kitchen, the bathroom, everywhere. They're sealed edge, so these countertops can't get water in them and sponge and swell. And this is a cool stone cast sink. It's not plastic, so if you're boiling hot water over here, splash. No big deal. You can just pour hot water in the sink. It's not going to melt on you like a cheap plastic sink. Um, stereo system I talked about earlier. Uh, big powerful Sony system. This is uh, touch screen. It's Bluetooth. It pretty much does everything. And I like how easy it is to control your speaker zones here. Winnebago has done one of the best jobs of making each speaker zone very easy to manipulate and control. Now this is something I think is just a stroke of genius. Normally toy haulers have crap bathrooms and crap bedrooms. Um, and I mean that from a scientific standpoint. Absolute crap bedrooms and bathrooms in most toy haulers. This does not suffer from that deficiency. This has a fifth wheel bedroom and bathroom. Uh, you can see that you've got that big like 50 inch walk-in shower with a nice privacy door. So once again, if you don't even care about this being a toy hauler, this could just be a very nice high level travel trailer for you. And I do mean high level. The way this is built is absolutely awesome. Now here in the bedroom where I'm standing currently, you see this little wall controller. That belongs to this big fan above the bed. So uh, if you are dry camping where you can't always run your AC and you don't want to run your generator the whole time, you can actually set this to various temperature controls so that at night that fan will kick on and off as required to keep it cool and comfortable for you in here. And especially with these pair of um, uh, cross breeze side windows, you can actually get some nice breezes in here. So again, usually toy haulers have junk bedrooms. Oh, come on camera, focus for me there. Um, the uh, benefit here is obviously that we have a, a nice walk around bed. Wow, camera's not wanting to focus very well. It'll, there you go. It's like a, it's like a man, ladies. So you just kind of got to get, you know, be patient with it and let it make its mistakes. And then eventually it'll come around. It's sort of like that. Again, sealed countertops on both sides of the bed. There are power outlets on both sides of the bed with those stands so you can run your CPAPs and charge all your devices and whatnot. I love the reading lights up here too. You can angle those around however you want. And I'm sure you noticed in the living room, but this is an easy place to show you. You see how it gets bigger in the middle here? This has a double arch ceiling. It's got a fifth wheel roof on it. Straight up built just like their fifth wheels down at Winnebago to give you that extra sensory of open space. And uh, not to mention, you know, if you are going to use your um, upper bed for cargo space like it did here, it's really handy. Uh, a lot of toy haulers, I could not put that table up there uh, and then raise the, the, the Happy Jack bed lift because I would crush stuff. Not a problem in here. Um, this thing's absolutely impressive inside and out. I, uh, I do apologize that I couldn't get the tailgate open for you. But, uh, you know, it is not an RV. It is a Winnebago. It is absolutely gorgeous. And it is available here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Take care, stay safe, have fun, happy camping, everyone.